My friends, what I have here today is the One Tigress nine and a half foot by nine and a half foot tarp. This is a square tarp that's made from sill nylon. And roughly one month ago, I put up my preview. Since that point in time, I've been testing it out. And folks, I don't have to do any more testing. I can tell you all, do not buy this product. In this episode, I will explain why. Just in case you don't know, my name is Luke. This is the Outdoor Gear Review. I appreciate you all tuning in. <laughs> Take a look at the leaves falling out of the trees. It's only August, my friends, and they're just falling. Anyways, when it comes to the products that I review, generally it takes me longer than one month to test them out. But with this product here, it has had a major failure, a catastrophic failure. And I can tell you all that if you're even considering purchasing this product, you need to be careful. If you've purchased this product, you need to thoroughly test it out before you take it out into the field because I've discovered an issue here that's very significant. Before going any further, please know that I have a preview of this product, this tarp, that goes over every single detail, every stat, every feature. This episode, I'm not going to do that. The primary focus is my review. I will touch upon the most important aspects, but primarily, this is a review, namely with the pros and cons. That's the focus. After you've watched this episode, if you have more questions about this product, check out my preview because I go over every single detail. To get started, I'm going to set up this tarp real quick and I'll bring you all back when I'm done. Before we begin with the pros and cons, let's go over the stats concerning this product real quick. Again, this is a nine and a half foot by nine and a half foot tarp. A square tarp, in other words. When it's all packed up, you're looking at 11.8 inches by five and a half inches. The weight of this tarp is 2.2 pounds, and that includes the eight included guy lines and the eight tent stakes, along with all of the storage bags. This tarp is made from a 20 denier silicone treated nylon, and according to the company, it features a 2,000 millimeter hydrostatic head rating. It is available in one color, and you're looking at it. And the retail price is $95, but on Amazon it's running 60 bucks. Also, the tarp features 19 tie-off points with each one being 2.3 feet apart. Now that we have the stats out of the way, let's begin with the pros and cons. Pros first. The first pro that I have for this tarp is the size. It's nine and a half foot by nine and a half foot. It's a square tarp. This offers plenty of protection for one to two people. And because it's a square tarp, you can set this thing up in a million different ways. A ton of configurations. Next, the materials for this tarp are excellent. We have a silicone treated nylon that's very lightweight and if we're talking about the materials alone they should be waterproof. I'm not saying this tarp is waterproof because it's not. It has some serious problems but it's not because of water going through the material itself. I'll touch upon this in just a minute. Next my friends, this tarp is very lightweight. 2.2 pounds for the entire package. That includes the guy lines and the stakes. If you want to drop some of those components and go with lighter weight cordage and stakes, you could definitely get this under two pounds. This tarp features a ton of tie off points that allow you to set this up pretty much any way that you want to. Moving on, I like the color of this tarp quite a bit. It's a nice looking green. What do you all think? Comment down below. Do you like it? As far as wind protection goes, this tarp has been excellent with my testing so far. Granted, I've only been out in winds up to 25 miles an hour, but at 25 miles an hour, this tarp has done very, very well. I believe that it could handle stronger winds, but I haven't been able to get out in conditions worse than that. One area of concern with this tarp here was stretching. Again, this is made from a silicone treated nylon, which is known for being a bad offender when it comes to stretching. Luckily, not all variants of silicone treated nylon are the same. And with this tarp here, it simply does not stretch all that bad. There are plenty of tarps out there that really can stretch a lot, but this is not one of them. It is very well controlled with the One Tigress tarp. Naturally, the tarp will stretch some along with the guy lines, but it's very well controlled with this product. It is nothing like the Fjall Raven tarp, which stretches like mad. It too is made from a silicone treated nylon, and it's one of the worst products as far as stretching goes that I've ever seen. Luckily, this does not have the same issues. Now, speaking Speaking of the Fjall Raven tarp, good news, there's a new version of that tarp coming out very soon thanks to the Outdoor Gear Review. Moving on, when it comes to those tie-off points, again there's 19 of those, they are of a good size. And I mention this because with the One Tigress Bulwark tarp, there's plenty of tie-off points, but they are super, super small, they're very hard to use. That's not the case with this one here. The storage bag for this tarp is of a good size and you can easily fit the tarp back inside of it. That is a rarity when it comes to tarp manufacturers for some reason. It's almost like they've never used their own products before. It's one thing for a tarp to be folded in a factory, it's something completely 
completely different to fold it up out in the real world when it's wet, when it's stretched, when the wind is blowing, and you're trying to stuff it into a small storage bag. Luckily, the storage bag for this tarp is of a good size, and the tarp easily fits inside of it. Additionally, folks, while talking about the tie-off points, each one of these has been reinforced, and that's a nice touch. You're not going to find that feature on all inexpensive tarps, but luckily this one has it. That means that you're getting a stronger tarp, a tarp that can handle stronger winds than some others. Now, everyone, let's move over to the cons, starting with the biggest one, the most important one. This tarp is not waterproof. It leaks like mad from three different locations. Across the body here, across the top, you have three external guy line points. So one, two, three. This tarp leaks from those points and it leaks profusely. This is the case in sustained light rain and also moderate to heavy rainfall. There's some sort of manufacturing defect when it comes to this tarp. If it was just a one-off thing, it would only leak from one point. But in the case with the tarp that I purchased, it leaks from all three. And what I discovered was that even in moderate rainfall, water will pump through this tarp. It will run down the walls, it will drip on top of you, which is completely unacceptable for a tarp product. With each one of these tie-off points, you can see that they're reinforced. And on this side, they have been seam taped. But unfortunately, the seam tape does absolutely nothing to prevent leaking. Again, I believe this to be some sort of manufacturing defect, and that's why I'm putting out a warning for this product. If you have purchased this, make sure to test it out thoroughly before you take it out, as you certainly don't want to put yourself in a dangerous situation with a defective product. An additional big con that I have for this tarp is price. The retail price is right at $100, and for $100, this product makes no sense, especially when you compare this product to other tarps that are out on the market. You can get tarps that are twice as strong, twice as waterproof, made by companies who are very reputable, who have a long history of manufacturing strong tarps. So again, for the full retail price, in my opinion, this makes no sense. For $60, which is the price on Amazon, I say okay if it didn't leak, but since it does, don't purchase this. In no way would I recommend anyone purchase this tarp for $100, even if it didn't leak, as you can get products that are just as light but are stronger. I have reviewed a ton of great tarps here on the channel, and if you're looking for a good manufacturer of tarps, check out AquaQuest. I have no affiliation with this company. I don't care if you purchase any of their products. I've purchased many of their products, taken them out into crazy situations, crazy storms, severe thunderstorms, tornado warnings, sideways rain, winds over 45 miles an hour. I mean, crazy stuff, and they have never let me down. So when you're comparing a product like this for $100 to a product that costs even less, that's much stronger, much more waterproof, much more durable, Again, this simply makes no sense. Lastly, everyone, when it comes to the cons for this tarp, it includes eight guy lines that are absolutely awful. This is the same cordage that One Tigress has used with their other products, and I absolutely hate this stuff. It is incredibly fibrous, and that presents a ton of problems, especially when you're out in the forest and you're setting up your product. In this case, it's a tarp. These guy lines, because they're so fibrous, will latch onto everything on the ground. Every stick will get tangled. Every piece of bark will latch onto this. It easily gets tangled with itself and everything else in the forest. It could be an absolute nightmare to use this cordage. So if you plan to purchase this tarp for some reason, replace the cordage. Use 550 cord, use something that's ultra light. You will find links down below if you're interested in a good cordage. But I would not use this stuff for any reason. It is absolutely terrible. With that point there, it wraps up my review of this product, the pros and cons. In the end, I do not recommend this product at all. This tarp has been a major letdown. And again, it appears to me that this is some sort of manufacturing problem. And I suspect that it's widespread. If you happen to have this tarp, you have any experiences with it, comment down below and share those experiences with the community. The fact that this tarp leaks in every single one of those points, this tells me that this is more than just a one-off problem. I do want to say this one more time, everyone. If you happen to own this tarp, if you purchased it, make sure to waterproof test it before you take it out on a serious trip. You need to make sure that your gear is in tip-top shape and that it can protect you from the elements. Don't take any chances. I do want to thank you all very much for joining me for this episode. I do appreciate it. Make sure to hit the thumbs up before you go. Also, consider subscribing. The Outdoor Gear Review is agenda-free. I purchased this with my own money so I can share with you all real information. Information that other channels cannot provide because they're being given those products. The Outdoor Gear Review has no agenda. It's not about selling products. It's about sharing information and that's it. That's what separates this channel from everyone else. By the way, before you go, make sure to check out A Quiet Place Adventures. That's my second channel. On that channel, you will find adventures that are very much different than those that I release on this channel. So do me a favor, check out that channel and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Everyone, take care, be well, strength and honor. Bye for now.